Hey guys, welcome back to Upkeep. We have a really fun game in store for you guys today. Marsha of the Machine just came out a couple weeks ago and they brought back Plane Chase. So if you haven't ever played Plane Chase, here's a quick review on how we are going to be playing it today. Well, there are multiple ways to play Plane Chase. Here's how we chose to do it. The whole table will share a Plane Chase deck. This deck contains 40 unique planes, each of which has two unique effects. One of these effects is a static ability that is active at all times, the other is a chaos effect. The chaos effect happens when you roll the chaos symbol on the planar die. Each player may roll the die at sorcery speed by paying accumulatively one mana. For instance, the first roll a turn is free, the second roll will cost one generic mana, the third will cost two, and so on. Again, if a player lands on the chaos symbol, that activates the chaos ability on the current plane. If the die is blank, nothing happens. If the die lands on the planeswalker symbol, you change the planes. In this specific version of Plane Chase, we will be leaving the previous planes out so that whenever planeswalking would happen, the player may choose to either go to a new plane or go back to a previous one. Otherwise, this is just a normal game of Commander. Okay, time for the deck intros. Today, I am playing Ravos and Kamal partner pair. This is a human tribal deck. If history has taught me anything, is that humans can survive a lot. So I feel like no matter what plane we land on, we will learn and adapt and overcome. Hey guys, for today's Plane Chase game, I'm gonna be playing uh, Strafan Mara Progenitor. He's a vampire tribal uh, deck. So his whole thing is creating blood tokens and then using that to cheat out vampires out of my hand onto the battlefield and attacking. So I think it's gonna be a pretty fun one. Hey guys, Preston here, and today I'm going to be playing Sliver Overlord. Basically, you know, Sliver Tribal, want to get out a bunch of slivers, boost each other up. I have all of the legendary slivers except for Queen because I just don't like her that much and she's $300. Besides that, I think it's going to be a fun time. Hey guys, Jason back for another episode of Upkeep. Today I'm going to be playing Karth the Lion. Uh, it's Golgari Planeswalkers deck. Going to be a lot of Planeswalkers, hopefully get a lot of mana, see what happens. If you'd like to support Geek and Seek, consider becoming a patron. All patrons also get to join our Discord where you will not only be able to hang out and talk magic, but also have yourself or your deck appear in our upcoming Magic Online and Spell Table series. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I won the dice roll. I will be going first. Let's see what plane we are starting on. We are starting on Otaria in Dominaria. This says, uh, instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard have flashback, and the flashback cost is equal to the card's mana cost. And then the chaos is whenever you roll chaos, take an extra turn after this one. <laughs> <laughs> whenever you roll chaos? Yes. Okay. Let's uh, and go, uh, let's boy. go. All right. Wait, so I will drop a turn. Wanna... All right. I'm just going to play in Indafa Trium and enters the battlefield tapped, and I will pass the turn. All right. I will play a Shadow Blood Ridge and pass the turn. All right, I will draw. A land you can't even use. Yeah, what about it? I will play Hollowed Fountain as my land for turn. <laughs> and it's free to do the first roll, right? The first roll is free. I might as well try, see if I can get a second turn. Yeah, here you go. You make us change planes. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. All right, my turn. Yep. <laughs> Evolving Wilds and a pass. All right. Oh uh, wait, can, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna roll too. You might as well. It's a free it's, roll. I mean you might as well. I'm rolling. I was really free. surprised you two didn't. Daddy uh, yeah. needs a I... new pay of return. Yo, oh, play you fool. <laughs> and you were just yelling at me about it. Do you have a preference on which direction we go? Put it below. Put it below. Put it below. Put it below. Put Alright, here we go. Below. Next one is Grand Ossuary, uh, Ravnica. Whenever a creature dies, its controller distributes a number of plus one, plus one counters equal to its power among any number of target creatures he or she controls. And the Chaos says, whenever you roll Chaos, each player exiles all cards he or she controls and creates X plus one, plus one green sapling creature tokens, where X is the number of power that creature he or she exiles this way, then planes walk. You uh, royally screwed us. That's way worse. Yeah, no, that sucks. <laughs> I want an extra turn, man. What can I say? I'm gonna I mean, put this dice right here to mark where we are right now. All right, I'll drop. Bring us back, bring us back, Morgan. All right, I'm gonna play an unclaimed territory. It, uh, I will choose human. It either taps for colorless or it taps for one mana of any color I need to cast humans. I'll go ahead and tap it for a colorless to cast soul ring. And then for one, I'll have one floating. And for a green, I will cast Explore. Uh, I can play an additional land this turn and I draw a card. That's gas. I will play a Plains as that additional land for the turn. And then for a white, I will cast Hopeful Initiative. It's a one, two with training. And then I can pay two and a white and remove two plus one plus one counters from among any creatures I control to destroy an artifact or enchantment. You're not gonna roll for 
Flameswalk? Actually, you know what? That would actually be nice. I would like. I, to say, I would kind of like to go back. I would kind of like to go back to you. Oh, right, not this time. I don't have the, uh, Did you? Have I, do have the, I do have the colorless. You do. Yeah, have, let's go. Let's do it. Dang it! All right, I tried. All right, go ahead. All right. On your upkeep, I'm just gonna crack my evolving wilds and go find a swamp. Fair enough. I'll allow it. We're gonna play mountain. Um, swamp. Tap it and the Shadow Blood Ridge to play a Talisman of Indulgence. Uh, I will roll Plains Planeswalk dice. Yeah. All right, we're going, going back. back. We're going back. We're going back. <laughs> we're going back. Because that chaos, that chaos. If you want, sucks. you have that one. You can roll again to try and get an extra try turn. Try again, extra turn. Ooh, yeah. You know what? Give me that dice back. I will. All I right. will tap that colorless. Nope. Nothing uh, happened. All right. Drop. I will have Godless Shrine be my land for the turn. I'll roll. That was real. No, these are proxies. That's just so cool. I'll pay one to roll again. That is so cool. And then it's your go. Forest as my land for turn, and I'm gonna try and get an extra turn. Let me see that dash, dear friend. Ooh. <laughs> oh, good God. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Don't go back. Do we have to go to the next one? No, you can, you can, you can, you draw, can draw a new one. Yeah, you can draw a new one. Draw All right, new, draw uh, do you have preference on direction? To the left. To the right. left, to the left. Oh, <laughs> Alright, we have Isles of Vesuva. It's on Dominaria. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, this controller creates a token that's a copy of that creature. Oh, and whenever no. chaos ensues, destroy target creature and all other creatures with the same name as that creature. Hey, Morgan. Yeah. What's up, dude? I'm gonna tap for one. Oh, okay, no. and you're gonna try to go back? Roll. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I passed. Alright. White, black, and uh, who cares? I'll have an extra one floating. We're going to cast Campbell Console of Allocations. Oh. Two, three. Whenever an opponent casts a non creature spell, that player loses two life and I gain two life. Wouldn't you make a copy it's a of legendary. That? But oh, it's yeah. a legendary. I would technically make the token, but it would just die, yeah, and so there's no no reason. I will play Arctic Tree Line as my land for turn. It's just about field tap. It's a forest plains. And I'm going to go to combat. Jason, I'm going to hit you for a whole last one damage. Take it like a man. I did. And just because I can, I'm going to roll the dice. I want to go back to Ataria because that plane is sweet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, whenever chaos ensues, destroy target creature and all other creatures with the same name as that creature. <laughs> well, Which creature you huh, want to definitely not a May ability. Hopeful initiate. You know what? He did his whole ass one damage. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not sad about it. You can pay one to try yeah, again. I'll go ahead and pay one to try again. You good, bud? All right, nothing happens. All right, pass the turn. <laughs> That's awesome. That was, that was, that was wonderful. <laughs> this is why I love planes chase. All right, we're gonna play a swamp. Yeah, let's do it. And we're gonna bring out everybody's favorite vampire, Strafan Marer Progenitor. 3-2 with flying. Beginning of my end step, I create a blood token for each player who lost life this turn. Actually, no, I will use that. I will take the one damage from that so I can create a blood token. I'm gonna roll for nothing. Okay. okay. Definitely. Alrighty. So then now I'm on my end step. I create that blood token from. This is gonna be a long game. His ability. And, yeah, and path turn. Cool. It's been an exciting first three turns. Let's roll first. All right. Nothing. Nothing. Pay we'll one. He's going for it. Oh, yeah. oh. Destroy, come on. Destroy target creature and all other creatures that share the name with it. D just do Kambal. Don't you? do it to Tommy. Don't do Tommy like that. I don't want to do Tommy, but I would feel a little bad about Morgan. But He's not know. hurting nobody. All right. That's the better creature. Campbell dies. Yeah, that happens. All right. Now I will play my land for turn. It'll be Cliff Trump Retreat, and then we'll pay two to try again. Okay. That's all okay. Right. I will this is going to be a long game. Yeah. <laughs> and draw. Play a swamp, and then I'll tap for three, and I will cast this uh, tireless provisioner, which oh, I a will one. make a copy of the tireless provisioner. Yeah, man, Jason's gonna make so many food tokens. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay, pass the turn. All right, we're gonna cast painful truth. <clears throat> I will draw three cards and lose three life. That's pretty good. White and two. I will cast Thalia Heretic Cathar. Creatures and non basic lands my opponent control into the battlefield tapped. Oh. It's a 3 2 with first strike. That's me. Love that. Love that so much. I'll play a Deathcap Blade as my land for turn. It enters untapped. It would be kind of interesting to try uh, going to a new planes because I don't I don't like this one currently, so let's try. No? No. Uh, let's go ahead and pay one. I'll try again. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, let's go to a new plane. So we are gonna go to Blood Hill Bastion. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, it gains double strike and haste until end of turn. Oh. <laughs> I should have done that first. <laughs> and then Chaos, whenever Chaos ensues, exile target non-token creature you control to return to the battlefield under uh, your control. Oh, flicker. Cool. I'll pass the turn. Play a mountain. Because Morgan is being annoying. What? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna swing Strafon at you for three. All right. In the air, I will roll the dice. See what we can do. Chaos. Chaos. Exile target non-token creature you control, then return to the battlefield under your control. So it so would come back tapped. Okay, so I flicker. I flicker. And it comes back tapped. No, untapped. You're welcome. Untapped, right? Oh, you know it. Oh, but it, it does. Oh, that the sucks. Battle. Now I'm doubly glad I hit you with that. I'm going to actually tap this for a red. Lose that life. Lose that life so I can create another blood token at the end of my turn. There you go again. Nothing happens. Nah. Let's, Let's go Do one more. Let's go one more. Do it again. Nothing Nada. happens. So then on my end step, I will create two blood tokens because both life. Morgan and I lost life this turn, and I will pass. It's almost like Magic players have a gambling addiction or something. I know, right? It's <laughs> almost as if the people that make this game put cards in, into packaging that uh, is randomized and completely unaware to the purchaser what they're going to get. And so, you know, they get a thrill of opening a pack that has a really valuable card in it and they don't want to do it again. It's, it's kind of like gambling, I guess, if you want to think of it that way. Help. Is that a drowned catacombs that you play for turn? <clears throat> yeah. It is not basic, so it came in tapped. Let's go! And do you want to go back to Isle Vesuva, Grand Ostuary, or do you want to go to a new plains? So go back to that one. Okay. Go back to, go back to this one, Isle of Vesuva. Mm -hmm. My turn? Yep. What if his creature, like, wasn't around anymore? Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, that'd be yeah, cool. I'm be down cool. for that. So, yeah. like, I'm going to tap for one green and one black. Don't don't pay attention to that. Don't pay attention to what just happened. What? I had said this swamp was a green and this forest was a black. I don't think the comments would have realized if you had Yeah. Said <laughs> I'm going to play Putrefy. Ooh, and I'm gonna destroy, destroy target creature. Yeah. All right, regenerate. yep, that happens. Press them and hit you for six. Ah! You're the only one who hasn't been hit yet for any damage, so and it kind of evens it out. Uh, then I'm gonna roll that dice, baby. Let's go to the extra turn one. I was gonna say, yeah, now that we got that out of the way. That should not have been the first one we That's hit. That's so crazy. <laughs> Everyone just keeps wanting to go back to it. I know, yeah, no, no one wants to leave. Who doesn't want an extra turn, bro? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. For green and two, I'll have one floating. Uh, because we went back to Otario, instance and sorceries in our graveyard have flashback, I'm gonna flashback explore. I can play an additional land this turn. I draw a card. Uh, draw. I will go ahead and play a jungle hollow and enters the battlefield tapped. I gain a life. I uh, don't have an extra land to play. With that one floating I have, though, we'll go one, two, three, and I'll cast Commander Sphere. Tap one to add any color to my of my color, and I can sack it to draw a card. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and for black, white, and one, we'll cast General Kudro of Draineth. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Other humans <coughs> I control get plus one, plus one, and whenever it or another human enters the battlefield under my control, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard, and I can pay two, sacrifice two humans, destroy target creature with power four or greater. What do you have in your graveyard? Uh, evolving Wilds and Putrefy. I guess I'll exile the Evolving Wilds. I guess we'll go ahead and try <coughs> taking an extra turn, because I can do the first one for free. No! I no. hate everything. Quit taking us away from me. New plane! We're going to a new plane. All right, so we're going to the Maelstrom, which is from Alara. Whenever you planeswalk to it, or at the beginning of your upkeep, you may reveal the top card of your library. If it's a permanent card, you may put it onto the battlefield. If you reveal it and don't put it onto the battlefield, put it on the bottom of its owner's library. The Chaos is return target permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Reveal the top card of my library. It's Path of Ancestry, so I'll go ahead and put it onto the battlefield. Technically, Explore lets me play an additional land, and I haven't played an additional land, so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and sacrifice the commander sphere to draw a card. Boom, it's not a land. All right, well, I will pass the turn. All right, cool. You, you may actually reveal the top card. Every, it says oh. you may. It says you may reveal. I'll, re I'll reveal. If it's a permanent, you may put it onto the battlefield. Wow! Cool. If you revealed a card but didn't then put it onto the battlefield, put it onto the bottom of your library. So now you draw for your turn. Oh my god. And that's I... how you ramp in Rakdos. <laughs> <laughs> play the only... plane chain. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and I will play a mountain. Let's move to combat first. So we're going to make Jason, um, when he attacks, I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice two of these blood tokens to bring out 
A vampire. A vampiric dragon! Oh, hey -o. No. There's that eight drop I was, I was talking about. I hate it here. I've already hit Jason, so I think that just leaves you, Preston. That logic makes sense to me. I mean, I guess. Five <laughs> in the air. Let's go ahead and... Pass. I'm gonna tap the Talisman of Indulgence for a black. Take one damage from it to uh, tap and sack this one remaining blood token. Discard this mountain to draw a card from blood token. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Cheers to you, Tommy. Man, I'm glad I'm drawing all these cards. This is just orange juice. There's nothing else in here. <clears throat> right, Jason? There's vodka in mine. I put a little bit of man juice in there. There's not vodka in mine. I'm kidding. Give me that dice. I'm going to roll for the planes. What does that do? <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, oh, no. Let's go! From a graveyard to the battlefield. Cool. Hey. The mountain. <laughs> and that's how you ramp in Rakdos! <laughs> that's how you ramp in Rakdos! <laughs> Just play Planes Chase. Just play plain Chase, baby. Let's go. Yo, that's crazy. All I'm right. playing green. How do you have more lands than me? <laughs> this is the weirdest game I've ever played. I, I, for I, I, one. I can cast, I can cast two cards in my hand. Nothing right happens now. for two. two. Nothing happens. For three. For three. Nothing oh. happens. Let's go. So I will create three blue tokens and pass the turn. Okay. All right, so it's a, at the beginning of my upkeep, I reveal the top, right? You right. may reveal the top card. It's permanent, so you get a... No, it's a oh. exile. Oh, I thought it was a land. Sorry, it goes to the bottom. Goes, right? to, the goes, bottom. To, the bottom. goes to the bottom. Okay. I'm going to start rolling. Chaos. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah nothing in your graveyard. graveyard. Right. Planes, Planes where do you want to go? Extra turn. Yeah. Two. Go to Atari. Atari. You want to go back to Atari? I'll pay two to roll again. All right. Just go back to the Maelstrom, please. I so say you can go back yeah, to. I, I, from I here, like we can go back to Maelstrom. All right, back to Maelstrom. It is. Right. Yeah. Eight. I will put into my graveyard for my hand Mana Weft Sliver. I will untap. I will reveal the top card of my library. Let's go! And that's how you ramp in Golgari! And when it enters the battlefield, my two tireless provisioners will trigger. You sure you don't want food tokens? Are you not hungry? Draw for turn. Tap for four. And I'm going to play Karth. Woo! And uh, Karth says whenever he enters the battlefield or a planeswalker I control dies, look at the top seven cards in my library. I may reveal a planeswalker card from among them, put it into my hand, and then put the rest on the bottom of my library in a random order. One, whiff, two, whiff, three, whiff, four, whiff. five, six, seven. No planeswalkers, all basics. I'm going to put Nissa Vital Force Ooh. into my hand. Oh, Lord, he did not whiff. He did not whiff. I'm going to hit you for six. For six. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to use my free roll. Go Play back to the double extra turn. <laughs> ka -chow. We're it's just going to be going back and forth. Freaking gamble, baby. One of these treasures, I'll still have one. Nothing happened. I have to discard. A Nevin Roth disc. Draw for turn. Oh my god, where's my land? You're happy. Oh, wait. I, I forgot. Artoria has a uh, flashback. So for white, black, green. Wow, what uh, the you, hell just happened you there? good, buddy? Throw your land there, bud. We're going to pay three life. And flashback painful truth, so it will be exiled now. I could draw three cards. One, two, three. Uh-oh. There's no land here. Fur, you're telling me. <laughs> so for green and for one, I'll have, have one treasures. floating. Flashback explorer, <laughs> I'll draw a card and I can play an additional. That's still not land. <laughs> Oh, guys, wow. check for us. If he cheated, he starts the next season with minus 20 points. <laughs> minus 20 <laughs> points. Spoiler alerts, but that would actually, uh, I'm cool with that. Okay, minus 40 points because he's being sassy. Okay, so with the one floating, I'm going to go white and one. I will cast Mentor of the Meek. Whenever uh, another creature I control with power two or less enters the battlefield under my control, I can pay a colorless, and if I do, I draw a card. That will trigger General Kudra, which will let me exile a card from a an opponent's graveyard. Path and, of Ancestry. And Path of Ancestry lets me scry. That's not a land, and that's what I need, so I'm going to bottom it. I guess I'm going to hit Nev's Disc. I'm going to try to get this extra turn off of Otaria. Oh, my wow. God. God. I... Let's go! Tommy, I want to go ahead and hit you for three. Fair enough. God. Okay, so before I go to my extra turn, I'm going to have to discard a card. I will discard Kamal Fist of Krosa, and then I will go to my extra turn. 
So we're gonna go for two and a green. We're gonna cast Cultivate. I searched my library for two basics. One I put onto the battlefield tapped, and the other I put into my hand. That's freaking gorgeous. Yeah, Isn't that, it? That, that Japanese art is really That's nice. That's sick. What? I'm gonna put a forest onto the battlefield tap, and then I'll put a plains into my hand, and I'll go ahead and play that as my land for turn. So you gotta cast that where we're on this plane with the flashbacks? That's a good point. You could, yeah. One, two, and a green. Yeah, yeah you might, you're right. I might as well flashback back the, uh, the, the cultivate. cultivate, so I'll go ahead and exile it and find two more basics. I'm gonna put the swamp onto the battlefield tapped and this forest I will put into my hand. So we're gonna go one, two, and three. I will get to scry off the path of ancestry. I will cast Realm Walker. I may look at the top card of my library anytime and I may cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of my library. I'll obviously uh, choose humans. A mentor of the Meek will trigger. Go ahead and pay the one, so I'll draw a card. General Kudra will also trigger and I will exile Putrefy from Jason's Green. So we'll go to combat and I will go ahead and hit Preston for three. I'll look at the top card of my library for Realm Walker just so I can think ahead. Interesting. Go to my end step. I will have to go to my discard phase. I will discard. Generous gift. Go ahead and pass to you, Tommy boy. Alrighty. Wow, it's somebody else's turn now. Play a swamp for my turn. We're gonna bring out Restless Bloodseeker. We're gonna go ahead and uh, sack two blood tokens. It's gonna transform into Blood Soaked Reveler. At the beginning of my end step, if I gain life this turn, I create a blood token and I can pay four and a black. Each opponent loses two life and I gain two life. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna tap that for a black. Lose one life. Each opponent loses two life and I gain two life. Thank you. Now on my end step, I'll create five blood tokens. But before I go to my end step and create all those blood tokens, I'm gonna go to combat and- Swing at Morangi. I think- Am I Morangi? Yeah. Wait, you had the most life. Hmm. He has one. You took an extra turn. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. It's ten lands, twelve mana total. I will hit Morgan with Strafon, and I will swing the dragon at Jason. So Morgan, you take three in the air. Jason, you got five in the air. And I will roll. Yay! Nothing happens. Do I have? You can pay one. You can pay one I to can do pay again. one. Let's do. Uh, why not? Nothing yeah. happens. Cool. That's now, step. now I create those blood tokens and pass the turn. I know we were scared of Preston going into this game because he was playing Slivers, but I honestly kind of feel bad that he hasn't hit his green mana source at this point. Yeah, I feel no, bad that he hasn't done anything, roll. really. <laughs> he says, let me roll, I gotta give me a hit. Or give Preston an extra turn. It almost did. <laughs> He's got nothing else he can do. Come on, Preston, you got Come it! Come on, you got it, man. Three mana card to play. I'll play, I'll play Spiteful Sliver. Is that, is that how you play? Whatever creatures you control have, whenever this creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to our creature or planeswalker. All right, my turn? Yep. Oh, yes, baby! All right, the turn you've all been waiting for. Uh-oh, right. I don't like that. I'm gonna sack this treasure for green. I'm gonna tap this forest for another green, and then three, and I'm gonna cast Nissa Vital Force. The ability to certain like look at the top seven and put a planeswalker, whatever. His second ability says planeswalkers loyalty abilities cost an additional plus one to activate. So like the plus one is actually plus two, the minus three is actually a minus two, and the minus six is actually a minus five. Oh, because yeah, it does affect. So it enters with five. I'm going to immediately alt it. Oh no. And I'm going to get an emblem with whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Oops. But also that is going to kill my planeswalker. And Karth will trigger since a planeswalker died, and I will get to look at the top seven cards in my library. Is and there any to... way to get rid of an emblem? No. In the game. No. Okay, I didn't think that. I didn't think there was. I wanted to make sure. I didn't. am going to put Vraska the Unseen into oh. my hand. Which Vraska is that? Vraska the Unseen. Were you not listening? You not... I want to know what it does. You're not allowed to look at it. She's unseen. She's unseen. <laughs> 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 And then I'm gonna play this Yava Maya Cradle of Growth as my land for the turn. So I will have three triggers. Both of my Tyler's Provisioners will trigger. Hey, there's your green mana source. I will make two treasure tokens. Yeah, now all your lands are oh, four. All your lands are four. Okay. Is it all Let's land? Go! <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. I that know. is also gonna trigger my emblem from Nissa, and I will draw a card. I think what I'm gonna do is sacrifice these two treasure tokens and tap the Yabamaya Cradle of Growth, and I'm going to cast Pure Imaginative Rascal. I mean, if one or more counters will be put on a permanent, your team controls that many plus one of each of those kinds of counters are put on that permanent instead. I think you're just saying things now. Tommy, I'm going to swing at you with my 3-5 commander. Okay, I'll just take the three. Pass. 
All right, so for two, I'm gonna cast Arcane Signet. I'm gonna look at the top card of my library because of the Realm Walker. All right, so we're gonna go for two, green, green. I'll get to scry off the Path of Ancestry, and I'm gonna bottom that card. I'm gonna cast Seraph, the Viper's Fang. Three, four, other tapped creatures I control get have Death Touch. Other untapped creatures I control have Hexproof, and I can pay one and tap it, untap another target creature or land I control. It. One, two, three, man. Four. I'm gonna cast Baird Stewart of Argive. It's a two four. Creatures can't attack me or planeswalkers I control unless they pay one for each of those creatures. Oh, two four gross. legendary. Oh wow, I forgot about the uh, general Kurdo. I will exile the Nissa from Jason's graveyard. That's probably a good idea. I'll go ahead and hit uh, the one card in uh, Preston's graveyard. Here's your takes back uh, counter. Thanks. When I play Baird, I will pay one to draw a card off of the Mentor of the Meek. Look at the top card of my library off of the Realm Walker. That's a really cool card. I saw what it was. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but I did. That's what you get. Play a forest for the land for turn, and then I'll go ahead and pay one. I'm gonna roll it again! Heck! I'm gonna send General Kudo, which is a 3-3 at Jason. And then I'm gonna send Mentor of the Meek, which is a 3-3 because of the buff from Kudo at Tommy. Okay. So I'm gonna block with my copy of the Tireless Provisioner and okay. kill your dude. Oh crap, you're okay. right. All right, so, all right, so they trade. I don't think I need Bone Sword Graveler that bad. You're already at six trade. Yeah, I'll let all, all right, so I'll trade. trade. Yeah. All right, so both die. I think I'm just gonna pass the turn at this point. Okay. Go ahead. We're gonna go fishing, boys. I like fishing. Why don't you take me? First one's free. Hey! hey! Take an extra turn after this one. Not like I can do anything with it. Are you really gonna roll again, you greedy son of a bastard? Oh yeah, absolutely. He has all the mana. Oh my god! <laughs> God! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! All right, we're gonna do it again. No! <laughs> oh, what have we done? This is the best kind of gambling because now that I have those, I can't lose. <laughs> if you play Rakdos, you have to play Plane Chase. Is what we've learned today. What is happening? <laughs> Tommy saved all of his luck That's from this first season for this oh, game. No. Oh, this is the best game of Magic I've ever played in my life. Dude, right. are you doing it again? Yeah, I'm doing it again. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. Four. If the phone wasn't there, it would have landed on a blank space. So yeah. that's my vote. Okay. That's I, my I vote too. That's, that's my fair. vote too. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. But it's not like turns. he doesn't get a free roll on each of these extra turns. Oh. You ever read Dante's Inferno? This is what that feels this like. This is what that feels like. Go to combat, I'll swing the dragon at Jason, and then Strafan at Preston. Three. Okay. Turn oh, one. Oh wait, don't forget to make your blood token. Two, Two blood, blood tokens, blood tokens. Up to eight. Hey Jason, remember episode five where you yeah, hey, put yeah. like three extra turns together? How did that go? Oh, he won. Man, it went really well. If I don't win here, I'm sorry. If Tommy Aww. doesn't win here, we team up on him, right? 100%. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. Okay, mountain, mountain for, turn. for turn. So I played Stenzia, Masquerade. It's an enchantment. Attacking creatures I control have first strike. Whenever a vampire I control deals combat damage to a player, I can put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Actually, no, I'm gonna use a take back counter on that. Wait, why? Because he can loot it. So what I'm actually gonna do is Pay one mana, sacrifice a blood token, and discard Stenzia Masquerade to play it for its madness cost. Because ah, I discarded it. Tommy's growing up. Yeah, I'm learning how to play the game, guys. I'm so proud so, of him, but I also want to win. <laughs> oh my! Just make it snappy. You got two other turns to go through after this. Just make sure to save some mana to hit more. <clears throat> you wouldn't hurt this poor little soul, would you? One. Yes. Well, here's my hot take about The Last Jedi. It's my favorite of the sequel trilogy. Actually, same. It's for another video. Uh, for two and a black, oh, I played it. Was the channel lasted. I, 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 I appreciate <laughs> that you have taste. <laughs> for two, I'm gonna swing both these at Pret or at Morgan. Sorry. Maybe so that's eight in the air, three of which is Commander. Wait, Daniel. wait, 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 wait! Before you make me take the damage, sir, for a white, I'm gonna swords to plowshare the dragon. Okay, so you take three. Copy you gain life. For the, the, the power. Yeah, and the dragon's yeah. exiled. And before that happened, at instant speed, I'm gonna pay one and a red to have it deal one damage to... You can hit Sliver for one and I can hit Morgan for another one damage. I like that idea. I like that idea. I'll hit right. Sliver for one. All right, I'll hit Tommy for one. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I was fair. going to hit Morgan. I no, just said that's I fair. Could. That's Promises fair. were not made. Yeah. Next turn. 
you. Extra you know turn what's scary is that number he can, two plus that, three. Now that he's into that extra turn, he can keep pouring mana into keep rolling to yeah. eventually maybe get That's like what I was four saying. extra turns. I should have been doing that these both these times. I haven't rolled my free one in either of these extra turns. Forgot. I will put. A, I need to put a plus one plus one counter on Strafon from the Stenzia Masquerade because he dealt combat damage to a player. <laughs> not, I don't know how I'm going to edit this together at this point. We're very like, mature. <laughs> there are so many inappropriate jokes I'm going to have to cut out of this at this point. Make me feel less depressed about my life and my existence and having to make these people appropriate by joining our Patreon, in which you can also join our Magic Online or Spell Table series and either get yourself or your deck into uh, the channel. It'll be a good time. You get to hang out with us and all that good stuff. And if you don't, we'll keep making Morgan sad. So for 10 and two black. I'm gonna, what? Damn, I'm gonna, be, I'm a damnable pact, uh, Morgan. So you draw ten cards and lose X life. I'm fine with this, actually. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I'm gonna be honest, my friend. That was pretty cash money. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Well, now he's gonna do a wheel effect. You can put me and uh, Jason at even life, and then you can hit Morgan next turn. This is very slick of you. Attack. So I would like actually, to stay above twenty life. Jason, is good. is that okay? I mean, no, but I don't really have a choice. That's that's fair. You don't. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and swing Strafon. <laughs> that was so mean of me. He gets another plus one plus one because he just dealt combat damage to a player. I will go to my end step, create two more blood tokens. And pass the turn. And then pass to the turn self. to myself. I didn't have to choose this life for myself. <laughs> I'm still having fun. A Mortuary Mire enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, I may put target creature card from my graveyard on top of my library. Then I guess it's gonna be the Restless Blood Seeker. I gotta say, the best thing that could have happened to us is that Tommy drew me a bunch of cards. About that. It's not gonna matter. Cause I'm gonna, gonna pass the turn. No, cause I'm gonna kill you this turn. What? What? Cause you remember how we're on Otaria and instants and sorceries have flashbacks? Oh no! Wait. Swing Strafon at you for five in the air. Okay, I can't stop that. And what when, did you pay the when, one for Baird? And I'll pay another one because I'm also gonna sacrifice two blood tokens. Sure, why not? To bring out Bloodsworn Steward, tapped yep. and attacking, which will actually boost Strafon even more. Uh, seven, six oh, in the air. Also that four, four in the air. I guess I'll throw it at someone else. Uh, you did hit me for four last turn. So. All right, then I'll hit Preston for four in the air. Assuming and I you, actually die so right now, 15. you guys have to get off of Otaria. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nine. You have to pay ten mana to kill ten him. Mana ten total. mana total. To kill him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Damnable Pact. Morgan, you draw eight cards and lose eight life. One. <laughs> well, they two, happen at the same time. They do happen on. at the same time. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. You're dead. Uh, <laughs> so he gets another plus one plus an one from God, An ungodly um, amount of cards in my hand as I die. Yeah, that's, that's great about Goodbye. damage in the past. Bye. Um, Damn. I'm dead. <laughs> Damn. At least it's gone. Dude, I'm, I'm just happy that Tommy took three extra turns and only killed one person. Yeah. My second make face. I will not go and... I'll break your kneecap if you don't change the plane right now. There you go. Are we going to the I maelstrom? Get to keep, I get to keep my kneecaps. I'm moving to the maelstrom. So that's the one where at the beginning of keep you reveal, right? You may reveal. You may reveal. Then that'll go to my end step. Then I go up, back up to 11 blood tokens. Jeez, Preston, let me help dust off your cards. It's been a while since been anybody's while. done anything. All right. right. Beginning of my upkeep, I'll reveal. I'll hey, take a land. Nice. Well, I think we're going to turn 12, do my first mana ramp of the game. <laughs> I love it, dude. Okay, I haven't actually played a land this turn, so we'll do that in Mountain. Again, I don't want the slivers to pop off, but I want Preston to do a thing this game. Two mana. Quick sliver. Okay. I just can't. All my slivers have flash. I just can't wait till the comments inevitably point out 12 ways I could have won the game on those extra turns that I just didn't see. Permanent from your there you go. to the battlefield. Go ahead, Preston. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my turn? Yep. Oh, we're Just back. leave it there. Untap up okay, we need it. Draw. Okay, yeah. Remember, well, you can reveal, reveal the top. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was this Nissa World Waker that I drew. Oh, All right, so now I'll draw for turn. I'm going to play this Swamp as my land for turn, which will trade the Tyler's Provision, and I'll make a treasure token. One, two, three, four. Four, and then I'm going to plus one, which is actually going to be a plus two because of cards. Nissa World Waker, and untap up to four target forests. So Nissa will go to five. Hey, look at that. These are also forests. Did you guys know that? Whoa. So I'm going to untap these four 
lands. I'm gonna add three to it, and then I'm gonna cast Nissa Nature's Artisan. I'm going to plus three, which is actually going to be a plus four on this Nissa because of Karth. So she's gonna go to nine, gain three life. Oh, sorry. These actually will get an additional one because of Peer. But that only triggers when they come in, not when you do the abilities. Just letting you know. Two, three, four, and I'm going to cast Vraska Golgari Queen. And I'm going to plus two her, which will actually be plus three because of Karth, so she'll go to eight. And I'm going to sacrifice another permanent, and if I do, I gain one life and draw a card. I think I'm going to sacrifice this Nissa. So I'll gain one life, draw a card. That's also going to trigger Karth. Then look at the top seven. And I'm going to reveal Soren Markov. I'll put Soren Markov into my hand. I will roll for free. It's fine. Tommy, I'm gonna swing at you for six. Actually, you don't have any blockers, right? Nope. Yeah, no, I'm gonna swing at you for seven. One with Peer, three with Tireless Provisioner, and three with Card. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. All right. For two, we're gonna play a Restless Bloodseeker. I'm gonna go to combat. I need to make sure I do this in the right order. Jason, so. I'm hitting you. I'm swinging. You don't wanna hit my Frasca Planeswalker that says you get an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game? Yeah, you, you might should, wanna get rid of that. You should probably get rid of Frasca. You don't wanna swing at oh. Frasca? Let me do some math. Or maybe not kill Vraska, but at least get it to where I can't get the ultimate very easily. I'm swinging Strafon at Vraska. Ooh, that should kill her. It's Strafon's eight. So that's he's eight. exactly eight. So that'll kill. So he'll kill Vraska. He's a, and then are you attacking me with this uh, one? Actually, I'm gonna swing Bloodsworn Steward at Preston. What did I do? I have a plan. Four. Okay, so when Vraska dies, Karth triggers. I guess I'll put Liliana of the Dark Realms into my hand. Bloodsworn Steward's <clears throat> gonna get a plus one plus one because it dealt combat damage to Preston. I'm so sorry, Preston. I'm gonna what pay did I do? two black. It's gonna hit both of you and help me out oh. quite a bit. Because I'm gonna pay two black, oh, sacrifice no. 13 blood tokens. Oh no. And tap Glass Cast Heart. And each opponent loses, each opponent 13, loses life. 13 life, and I gain 13 life. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Are you gonna roll for free? Yeah, why not? I didn't see Flames it. Walk. Uh, are we going back to the extra turn one, or are we gonna... No! But I could win if I get an extra turn. Wait, how could you win? If I get an extra you're turn... You're only at 11 life. You're only at 11 life. If I get an extra turn, bing, bang, boom, there's 11 damage at least on the board. How about you don't do that? It's an off-season game. Just let Tommy have the win. Go ahead, Tommy. Go back to the extra turn plane. Let's do it! We pay the one. Yes! Nothing happens. We pay the two! Yes! <laughs> you still have mana. I still have mana. We pay the three. No! Let's go! So All right. my turn. Okay, so, so you have to stop him this turn somehow. Yeah, okay. you literally, you literally, you have to kill me now, or I win. Or board or, I um, had a cyclonic rift in oh, my hand. Oh, no, we're not on that. And I had enough to cast it. I'm gonna tap four black, plus two this Nissa. She's gonna go to eight. I will untap these four forests. I will add one green to it. I'm gonna cast doubling season. Oh. If Jason somehow no. pulls us back by getting a bunch of extra turns, that'd be hilarious. That would be I would be hilarious. I would that would be fantastic. This was a fun game. I don't care how it is. Very fun game. I'm gonna tap for five. Uh oh. Uh, I think no, I'm gonna cast Soren Marco. Oh. Six! I need six! I need six! Oh. I need six! Did you not play a land or make a I don't anything? have a land to play. Oh. If there's nothing else you can do, you can try to get some extra turns. I guess I can roll for free. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Okay, now do a Tommy and get like no, three corner. No, no, I'm winning this f***ing game right now. Tap for five. Vraska the Unseen. Let's go at it with 12 loyalty. I'm gonna minus seven. Yeah. Go to five. And I'm gonna make three one one black assassin creature tokens with whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Hey Tommy, how many blockers do you have? One. Ooh, well, that's interesting. Now don't forget, that also affects tokens, so you actually have six of those. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. I just want to make things fair. I was this close. Then I'm going to move to my extra turn. turn. Dang it. Oh, it would have been so awesome. It would have been wonderful. Turn. I'm going to play this swamp as my land for turn, and I'll make a treasure token. You make two treasure tokens. Two treasure tokens. Just because I want to have fun. I'm going to tap just have fun. for black, plus two. I will untap these. 
four. So I have four black. So I'll use three of the four black and two green, so I have one black left. I'm gonna cast Vivian Reed. Vivian Reed will enter with 10. I'm gonna minus eight to two. You get an emblem with creatures you, creatures you control. I have plus two, plus two, Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. Is that really necessary? Yes. Um, and I'm gonna cast Soren Markov, who will enter with eight. I'm gonna minus three him to five. Your life total is going to 10. Is that really necessary? Yes. Then I'm gonna swing at you with my six one one assassins. They have Vigilance. You're right. I'm gonna swing at you with my six one one assassins that uh, whenever they deal combat damage to a player, that player loses the, the game. They're so actually I just three lost, threes. So I just lost the game okay, they're plus five three, times three. over. Yeah. yeah. That's fitting, honestly. Planeswalkers! Oh, on plane chain. That's right, baby. You lost seven different times that that attack stab. Uh, yeah, GG. GG. Good game. GG. Good game. Good game. Hey, that was in the top that 10 fun. most fun games of fun. Commander I've played in the last like, year. We normally do a after show uh, called End Step that we have come out a week after, but starting on this episode, if you are a Patreon, uh, you can actually join our Discord and watch the after show right now. You can watch the after show right now as of the release of this video. Uh, otherwise, if you're not a Patreon, you can watch it a week from now. I hear a little bit more about the game, a little bit more about these decks, and we will be back officially for season two in a couple months, but we will have a couple other fun extra episodes coming over this summer. If you have any other things you would like to see from us, let us know in the comments down below. Let else? us know if you like playing Chase. This that was, was fun. fun. I had a lot that of fun. That was this really was, fun. This was awesome. Check out all the other episodes. Make sure you're subscribed, share us with a friend, all that other great stuff, and we'll see you guys later.